And no questions is a reasonable response. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Have a great night. We just need a raised hand. I think we surprised them, John. You really, really don't need to ask. Yes, in the yes. back on the far side there. You've been bullied into asking a question? What is it? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jason Nathanson with ABC News. Hey, Jason. Hey, John. Um, you were about to give a very moving tribute to your dog, and they started to play you off. Yeah. Uh, what was going through your mind at that moment? Honestly, slight relief, uh, because you know I'm not uh, I'm not well versed in sincerity as a British person and as a comedian, so I didn't really want to get upset. And thankfully, whoever was on that board, I think, said, "You can't carry this off." and uh, walked me straight into a joke. So I'm very, very grateful that they gave me the parachute so I could avoid my feelings once more. But yeah, it was, uh, we had a great talk. I'm going to say goodbye this week. It's brutal. All right, our next question, the gentleman in this far side, second row. Hi, John. Congratulations. Hey. Thanks, um, man. As we come up to uh, the election, um, yes. Whoever wins is going to change a lot of things, yeah. and it's going to change your show. What is that change that you feel, whoever wins? I don't know. I think it depends. We, we have, over the last decade, slightly tried to keep our show separate from too much of the party politics that's going on. So hopefully we'll be able to continue to insulate the main part of it from that. Uh, going forward. As for who wins, I think that's the concern. Like, it's going to be very, very close. And one of the candidates I don't think is going to accept a loss, not mentioning his name. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's what's going to be very tense going forward over the next couple of months and probably in the wake of it as well. As for our show, again, we, we, we try and make those main stories relatively timeless so that the problems, depending on who's in the White House, tend to stay when they're that systemic. Our next question will be from a virtual participant. This yes. is James from Blush Media. James from Blush. Hi, John. Hi, James. Congratulations on your... I, I just want to... You know, your show continues to entertain and inform uh, audiences around the world. How do you navigate between the balance between humor and serious topics in your content and what message do you hope viewers take away from your impactful work? I think whenever we are most serious, uh, we're probably about to do the dumbest thing you can imagine. Uh, so we make sure that we, we have that kind of ripcord uh, available to us. Just this year, I believe we did a show that was where one of our researchers had sourced uh, the manufacture of death penalty drugs in this country, which doesn't sound that funny on its surface. So after that, we did a story about, I believe, one of the most versatile uh, stock photo models. We tracked him down uh, in Azerbaijan, Andrew Gilgar. So that was something very, very difficult to talk about and um, I, I would say almost transcendentally done. So it's really, it's the mixture of the two that uh, is the most fun and satisfying for us. You know, we, we, if we ever do something really dark, we're gonna do something utterly Thank you so much. That was our final question. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone.